Are you ready? Can you handle this? Yes. This is Dan. This is Christina. And this is our 2018 Sprinter van that we've slowly been converting. That we're actually going to live in starting in March of 2019. We had a hard time finding videos on how to make your own shower inside of the van. And so we figured we would record what we've been doing and hopefully this video will help. <laughs> building the shower it's gonna be all the way down there and it's gonna go all the way up to the ceiling 24 inches deep 32 inches wide did a bunch of research on different shower pants to use we are in a 170 sprinter it's a 2018 model so we had to find a spot on the floor that when we put the shower drain we weren't going to be punching into any sort of framing or anything. So we did a test hole right here. I'll show you what it looks like from underneath the van. So you can see where the pilot hole came out right there. So then this spot right there will be where the drain's gonna come out. So I'll show you the shower pan. We got it off Amazon, I'll put all the links and everything, but it's 24 by 32 RV shower pan. I found a shower drain to go on the bottom of that. Our shower, we will not be using a gray tank. We're gonna use a portable gray tank, but most of the time we'll be just using a biodegradable soap and draining out in places that we can. Okay, so I'm gonna build a base for the shower pan. It's just gonna be a very basic square frame with this piece to be sitting on. You can see the flat piece down there, kind of bevel along the edge. This will be sitting right into the base. It's got foam on the bottom, which I'll glue to the bottom of the actual subfloor, and that will hold the shower pan. Things we'll need for this project, Craig Jig, Craig Jig drill bit, Craig Jig jig thing, and a drill. So what I do for the Craig Jig, set the depth of the material you're using in this little tiny guide that it has. Three quarter inch is what I'm using now, so I just push the drill bit up, check it, tighten it down. Now actually drilling the pocket holes is pretty simple. This piece, there's two holes, line them up where you wanna, and clamp it. And you get a hole like that. So for this part, we're gonna need clamps, wood glue, the Craig Jig screws, they special pocket hole screws. They show you what size you should be getting. So we're doing three quarter inch. We need one and a quarter inch pocket holes, or uh, screws, so we got that. Wood glue, drill. Check. Here's a good example of don't get distracted. I did the pocket holes in these longer ones, so these things would be sitting on the ends out here. Making that, I didn't follow my own dimensions. And this thing does not fit in here. This is the wrong size. What needs to happen, I need to remake these pieces of wood because now they have pocket holes in them, but this needs to go on the inside. Should have looked at my own diagrams. 
And that's what we're looking for right there. So, how's my own fault getting distracted with the camera? I gotta remake those. So I needed to add some bracing to the ceiling between the metal ribs because I need a bar to be going this direction right about here. So I added these with just pocket holes and then self-tapping sheet metal screw into the to mark off this on the floor and then we gotta remove this vinyl flooring all the way around the outside of it. So that way the shower base is sitting on the subfloor. It will be then mounted to the subfloor. No time like the present. vinyl flooring, this crack that we have here. So now we can actually install these brackets that will go on the inside here, and it'll hold this, but then this will come in and set right on top of there. Before you attach any of these brackets in here, go underneath the van and make sure your self-tapping screws are not gonna puncture through anything important. Back from my expedition under the van, everything looks clean. We are not going to go through anything down there. So now I have these, what are these, one and a half inch self tapping screws. And I've got these little tiny two inch L brackets. So all of these mounting hardware is going to be hidden inside of this shower. So you won't be able to see any of it. drain hole, I'm going to cut that drain hole out. So here's the shower drain bottom. This will be going through the bottom of the floor. So this circle here is the size of the actual drain hole, which is what that will fit. And we're through. Now we're going to cock this hole for silicone. Prepare yourself. so we can get a template for the sidewall. So we just roughly cut it with our table saw to a width longer than what we need and taller than what we need. We're gonna set it in there and then we will scribe it to get an actual template for our quarter inch, or correction, our half inch birch ply. Already I can see that this is too tall. So I'm gonna trim off some up here so I can get an actual dimension that I need. So this is our quarter inch plywood. It's only gonna be a template. So what we did, we started off by just cutting out a notch to get it closer to the wall. And then we're using this compass. So this piece, we just put a little pin in there. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow the contour of the wall. So go to your farthest point and make sure your pin is not gonna fall off your board first thing. So 
I match it out here because it's pretty much the farthest point. And then I go back up here and I start with this piece and keep it level all the way down the wall. So you keep it on the same spot, contouring all the way down. And then what I'll do is when I get back out to the garage is I'm going to make that line a little bit cleaner and that's gonna give you almost exactly the line that you need. trimming up here to make this piece fit because you can see we're still bumping this corner up here so then I will mark that so I know where to take off and I'm just gonna take off a good little bit there this piece is gonna slide in here so you can see how the contour is here we've got a little bit more trimming to do down there so see how it's not fitting quite right this piece up here is good. That piece right there is clear. So now I can see where it's touching right here. So I'm going to take that, take that chunk out because that's about the gap that's all the way through. And then this thing should fit like a glove. Mm-hmm. 